Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm Sam Grayson, and it is time for more Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. Today, we're starting Episode 2, Moai Better Blues. A surprise trip to the tropics turns into a working vacation when Sam and Max sign up to stop a massive volcano eruption. Will their special blend of bewildering wit and renegade justice be enough to win over the gods? Not to mention the locals. Let's find out, shall we? The robot's still there. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody <laughs> insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. <laughs> what in the hell? What was that all about? Civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. <laughs> what, what do you want, want us to do? do? You must stop Ronakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take, we'll the, case. take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. <laughs> Deadbeat really is the universal language. Who are you guys anyway? Who are you guys anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. <laughs> I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. See a wind demonstration. You control the wind. Let's see a demonstration. Uh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just ripe with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. What are all the triangles What's the for? Deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. <laughs> Think about rhinoplasty. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. <laughs> I'm just the way the carvers made me. What's to do around here? What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> Oh, yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. <laughs> Blow Come some on. wind. Blow us up a typhoon. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. All right. Anything else in that prophecy? Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. <laughs> Does the prophecy mention us? How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? 
Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod. Until the iPod. By the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference. <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks, who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like them. That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. <laughs> Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. <laughs> At least we have something to look forward to. Okay. Lost and found. There's probably something in here Look we need to grab. Junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the Twenty Commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. <laughs> or not? What's with these gongs? It's a gong with a silver triangle on it. Yep. It's a gong with a gold triangle on it. Do those fish have snorkels? It's the fountain of youth. Make a wish, Sam. I and wish goggles. A deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything. <laughs> it's a gold gong. Gong. Life preserver. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. Oh, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. <laughs> It's a silver gong. Okay. How did you find picnic stuff on a desolate island? Easy. It was on the picnic basket. <laughs> hey, hey, they stole my picnic oh, basket. Clues. Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the volcano god. Where do you two think you're going? What the fuck? Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. <laughs> Is baby sleepy? Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Dark. Baby is gassy. Baby gassy. Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! <laughs> give us the we'll gun. Give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, <laughs> let's teach him the wrong words for things. We have purposely trained him wrong. As a joke. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. <laughs> People always showing me disrespect. You should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. Ah, that's what's going on. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. <laughs> Even for the waters? The fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Why'd you drink Why'd so you much? Drink yourself back to infancy. Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada bing! Bada bing. All right. Step aside, sport. We grown ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. Oh, look, he's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Seriously, what is it? Son, 
We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. <laughs> Seriously, champ. Beat it! We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. This is about to get dark, but... Try it, Pooch. You feeling lucky? Not particularly. Damn it. I don't know why I thought that would work. Tiny Tiki. It looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Whee! No, it can't be. Pipe down, Chucklehead. No, oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorphs Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Okay, thank Sam, God. They're all babies. Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Hey, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, man. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. Is that Amelia Earhart? Amelia Earhart. You've already oh my God. Mr. Charles Lindbergh Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! You've been missing forever. Gibbs, you guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You pet conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why don't you go home? Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. 1973. Don't look like your photos. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. <clears throat> Once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. Diapers are the new black. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Well, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. Why are you the same How'd age? You managed to all regress to exactly the same age. It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. What's to do around here? What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the height limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half. Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia. See you around, kids. All right. I know it's called the Tiny Tiki now. Hey, Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? <laughs> You're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles. Watch out for flying bottles. Ride it. No way. Radical. Oh, that was easy. Hot dang. Well, that was entirely pointless. What the fuck? Maybe Glenn Miller. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. 
Well, Cable God, stoppers. I'm glad to meet you. I, I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. What do you need help what with? What do you need help with? Well, I, I'm trying to find just that, that perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh, well, gee, thanks, but... I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and, and fresh. But I'm stuck on on two things. I need a catchy melody, and I need a good train sound. You're, You're missing? A missing person? We thought you were dead. Well, I get that a lot. I was here 20 years before I believed I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. <laughs> but you end up here. up here. I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? Oh, you bet. I'm pulling out all the stops. This song's gonna be about all the things the kids are into these days. Trains, and sock hops, swing dancing, and methamphetamines. But how are we gonna find a new wow. movie? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. Keep on rocking, Glenn. Word. Word. He needs more cowbell. <laughs> he needs more cowbell. Where did you find some? I get that one at least. My old horn section. Say hello to Jack, Don, and Rochester. That's awful. Dark. Don't tell me about it. Well, these guys still can't hold the high notes. Nothing says remote tropical island like a steel pan. Except dysentery. Dysentery. Water dispenser. Water. Ingredients, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water. The pacifier. Ingredients, kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. The diaper, diaper rash. rash. Ingredients, bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. One of those doesn't sound edible. Okay, you gotta fill that with something. If I had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was gonna use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day, sir. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna fill this up with that diaper rash concoction. Get the sneaking suspicion. I gotta go give that to Mr. Hoffa. Or I have to go pour it in the fountain of youth. Not something I expect, but it wouldn't put it past this game. Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non union wait staff. Do you want it in your shippy cup? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the Waitresses Union. How do we get into the Waitresses Union? Fortunately for you, I am the Union Leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the Union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard ah, without there we go. dropping anything. I thought it was a little too easy. All right, try the surfboard thing and then end the episode. Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. <laughs> Watch out for flying bottles. Oh, I don't have the thing, damn it. 
moon, doggy. You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons either. Huh? <laughs> sure, you lost. All right. I need to use that on the surfboard to show my stuff. Ah. I'm going to take another crack at that surfboard. I the see. The sun was in my eyes. <laughs> the sun was in my eyes. Try that again. Just oops. Hang six, Moon Doggy. Frick. The sun was in my eyes. Try it again. Too soon. Oops. Try it again. Too soon. The sun was in my eyes. Try it again. Woo wee! Ride that sucker! Radical. Hot dang! You wrote that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now you're with me on your head. Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. Alrighty. I need to talk to him. Beat the bucking surfboard. How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. Thank God he didn't specify. Thank you. Our little man's going to need changing. Try it and I'll shoot off both your paws. Okay, weirdly enough, that is apparently not the one that works. Pacifier. Dihydro cap season. Let's try this one. Nothing doing. Oop. Are you? Thank you. Seriously, champ. Beat it. Bye bye now. Okay, if that didn't work, I'm gonna crazy idea. I'm not sure this is actually going to work. I think I need to deal with the fish first. Nope. Okay. Ooh. What in the world did that I do? I can't reach it.
Damn, that's some good eyesight, Sam. Although, what's that actually doing for us is the question. Okay. Need to do something about these fish. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still two tibias shy of a complete set. Hmm. Leonardo da Vinci's sketches of a cold fusion reactor. <laughs> Alright. Well, I've gone over long. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe to the bell. And we'll see you guys next time.